Let's take a look at understanding decimals expressed in words. How do you write this number using digits? 89 hundredths. Okay, well to go between words and numbers written with digits, we need to know a little bit about place value. So just the same way when you have numbers bigger than one, right, when you have whole numbers, you guys know, like for example, if I had 237, we can say that two is in the hundreds place, three is in the tens place, and seven is in the ones place, right? 237. Now, if we were to have a decimal, let's say I had 237.15, well, after that decimal point, it becomes a fraction of the whole, right? So instead of the tens place, which is bigger, we have the tenths place. Right? So the tenths place represents one tenth, or if it was a three, we could say three tenths. In this case, there's a one there, so that would be one tenth. Now, if you have it into the second decimal place, right, 0.15 instead of just 0.1, that five is now in the hundredths place. So we would say this is 237 and 15 hundredths meaning 15 out of 100. Now, of course, you can think of that as dollars, right? If you have 15 cents, that 15 is out of 100 cents or 15 hundredths of a dollar. Now, you could keep going. If we had something after this, that would be the thousandths place, 10 thousandths, and so on. So in this case, 89 hundredths, well, hundredths place, the hundredths place is not the first place after the decimal point, right? That would be the tenths place. The hundredths place is the second place after the decimal point, right? The hundredths place. So if we have 89 hundredths, that would be 0 0.89 because our number goes into the hundredths place. So that would be 89 hundredths. 64 hundredths. Well, we said just a moment ago, after your decimal point, the first place would be the tens place, and then after that, the hundredths place. So if we have 64 hundred, hundredths, that would be 0 0.64, because that four, that last digit, is in the hundredths place. Right, that's the hundredths place. So 0 0.64. Four tenths. Well, this time, the tenths place is only the first place after the decimal point. So four tenths would be 0 0.4, right? Because that four is in the tenths place. Eight tenths. Okay, well, the same idea. The tenths place is the first place after our decimal point. So if we have an eight in the first place after our decimal point, eight tenths tenths. So notice the number is telling you, right, eight means that we have an eight, and the tenths mean that it's in the tenths place, meaning the first digit after the decimal. Nine tenths. Okay, so we're looking for the one that would have nine in the tenths place. So 0 0.9, this would be nine tenths. three tenths. Okay, so we need three in the tenths place. So that would be 0 0.3. Remember, the first place after the decimal point is the tenths place. 11 hundredths. Okay, so we're looking for the number that has 11 in the hundredths place. Well, the hundredths place is two places after the decimal point. So we have, this would be 11 hundredths, 11 hundredths, 0 0.11.